Sheboygan man arrested for 8th OWI, Two Rivers woman in court for child's beating death, cop on a rooftop event today in Sheboygan. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Friday, August 16th, 2019. A Sheboygan man was charged this week with drunk driving for the eighth time. 77-year-old Kelly Joseph Boudreau was drive or pulled over on Tuesday by an officer responding to a car driving too slowly on I-43 in the village of Oosburg. Boudreau initially told the officer his truck was not working properly, but as they later waited for a, a tow truck, the officer smelled intoxicants coming from Boudreau. The officer then noticed that Boudreau had seven prior ch charges of operating while intoxicated. Because of his prior offenses, it was illegal for Boudreau to drive with a blood alcohol concentration above 0.02%. The limit for Wisconsin drivers without prior conviction is 0.08%. According to the complaint, Boudreaux blew a 0.08% in a preliminary breath test. He remained in jail on Thursday, and his next scheduled court appearance is August 21st. A father and his son are among seven people charged after an alleged July 4th hate crime here in Sheboygan. Charges were officially filed on Monday, and police say the incident began after the recent fireworks show in Sheboygan and involved numerous suspects repeatedly using racial slurs and ordered young African-American women to go back to Milwaukee as they attempted a U-turn near 2nd Street and Superior Avenue in Sheboygan. The incident also involved a physical altercation that later took place between several suspects of the father of one of the young black females. During the initial incident, one of the women claims 63-year-old Scott Rader punched her in the face, knocking her glasses off, and say she was also punched by Brenna Bowers. During the altercation a short time later, the suspects reportedly had a shovel and a knife, and the fight resulted in multiple injuries to people on both sides. Several people are now facing charges, including possible hate crime charges, including Scott Rader and his son, 32-year-old Ryan Rader of Sheboygan. Both have criminal records. Another court date is coming up in the case of a toddler who was beaten and tortured after a span of eight months in Two Rivers. Last week, the mother pleaded not guilty in the, son, or the death of her two-year-old son earlier this year. 27-year-old Reina Santiago appeared at her arraignment, and no trial date has been set, but a plea hearing was scheduled for October 31st. She, along with two others, faced multiple charges, including repeated physical abuse of a child in connection with the April 19th death of Gilbert Grant II. One of those two suspects is the mother's roommate, 25-year-old Bianca Bush, who is due in court tomorrow. According to Manitowoc County officials, Bush Santiago and 28-year-old David Hayden all allegedly admitted to some of the abuse, and all three defendants are facing felony child abuse charges. Hayden is due back in court on October 4th. As they look to help out Special Olympics, cops will be shouting from the rooftops today at Dunkin' Donuts. The Cop on a Rooftop event is spread out across the state at various Dunkin' Donuts locations and here in Sheboygan. There will be cops at the location 2832 South Business Drive from 6 o'clock a.m. to 11 o'clock a.m. The idea is to heighten awareness and raise money for a law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics Wisconsin. In return for the police officers working today, Dunkin' Donuts restaurants will donate $5,000 to the organization. 
A new business is open now here in the city of Sheboygan. Bluebird, a new store in downtown Sheboygan, offers unique baby clothing and toys. It's located at 1109 North 8th Street, and although the store had a soft opening in May, plans for a grand opening and ribbon cutting are still in the works. Owner Jennifer Tisch of Sheboygan decided to open Bluebird because she had a hard time finding quality baby clothes for her daughter. She says that the clothing and toys come from brands based in California and the UK, all with unique touches or special features. Shoppers can buy in store or online at bluebirdsheboygan.com. The new store is open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thursday and Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Finally, 18-year-old Madeline Hendrisky and her friend, 17-year-old Brayden Dursk, fulfilled a lifelong dream last Saturday when they water skied from Oostburg to Little Sable Point Lighthouse in Michigan's Silver Lake State Park. The idea began as a whim, but when Dursky thought about it, the planning began. Planning took two years and weather delayed the trip for several days, but once the weather cooperated, the two Oostburg teens took off at an average of 28 miles per hour to make the 60 mile crossing. Sore knees and arms seemed the only downside from the trip, which got rougher than expected in the mid waters. What's next for the two? Hendrisky is off to college in Arizona while Dursky finishes his senior year in Oostburg. And no, any other Great Lakes crossings are not planned yet. And that is our report for today. Join me again next week for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV. Thank you.